We are here in Jupiter, Florida, looking at a brand new 2022 Kawasaki Ultra 310 LXS. In this video today, I'm just gonna remove the seats and I'm gonna show you the engine compartment and the new uh, engine compartment cover that Kawasaki has uh, upgraded for 2022. So the first step to remove the rear seat is you have two latches, one on the port and one on the starboard side. You wanna unlatch both of those and then remove the rear seat assembly. Next for the main seat, there's just one latch. I already had it loosened there just to... All right, then here's our sealed engine compartment. We do have an access door so that you can check your oil, take a peek in the engine compartment there. Um, this, this compartment does latch closed um, it's not the tightest seal. I would prefer if it had a, a better latch system here. Um, but overall, uh, the quality of this is, is very good. Um, the, the cover here is held on with six 10 millimeter acorn nuts. I've already gone ahead and pre-loosened those. This is a standard Kawasaki stainless steel hardware. So should last for years and years to come. All right, so now that we've loosened this cover, you're just gonna go ahead, grab it anywhere. It pops right up. Be easier here if I'm not holding the camera. All right. As you can see, the engine compartment is really easy to access. Um, we have a lot of maneuverability in there. And for those of you uh, who aren't familiar with this ski, we're looking at Kawasaki's 1500cc four-stroke inline-four dual overhead cam engine. They've been using this engine for quite some time, and it's um, I'd trust this engine out on the water more than any of the uh, competitor engines. This has really been put through the ringer um, and uh, this engine's really proven itself time and time again. Um, 12 valves with hydraulic lifters um, and it's got an 8.2 to 1 compression ratio. Uh, there's our intercooler, our catch can, and that right there is your uh, supercharger uh, relief valve. Down there you can see our supercharger idler pulley. And I'll get you a look here. You could just see it down there. That's our Eaton Roots Type Twin Vortis Supercharger. Um, that pumps 16.8 pounds of boost into the motor here. Um, I believe at, at full throttle, you'll burn about 24 gallons an hour uh, with a range of about 55 miles. That's pegged. <laughs> um, and that's all fed by our 60 millimeter Makuni throttle body and a direct fuel injection rail. You can see uh, from the hull there that uh, Kawasaki is the only company that continues to produce their hulls with real fiberglass and gel coat. Um, there's no nano or plastic on this hull. You won't find a more solid uh, or better riding hull. Um, also, the Kawasaki comes stock with a real nice welded catch can and of course the intercooler. Um, with its own dedicated flush port on the rear. Many people confuse it. This is just the exhaust manifold right here. Um, you have your exhaust filter right here. That's um, a maintenance item you want to make sure you pay attention to uh, to maintain peak performance. Um, the other major thing about this ski, uh, not only does Kawasaki advertise the horsepower, 310, but they also advertise that the pump and uh, the drive line together pumps out 1,890 pounds of thrust. Um, so neither competitors advertise their specs, uh, maybe because they don't know what they are or they haven't invested the uh, R&D um, in uh, figuring those out. But um, I'll tell you, you definitely feel it. Um, another important thing to point out while we're here is this right here is your supercharger fogging port. 
It's got a little tube here that runs down into the uh, supercharger. And after each ride, you wanna make sure that you uh, fog the supercharger to prevent buildup of any um, mineral deposits or uh, corrosion that can affect performance. It's just got a little rubber cap here. I will note that the rubber cap is a little difficult to remove when the full plastic cover is on, so just make sure you don't drop it in there. This ski is uh, brand new. It's got zero hours. So before we put it in the water, I'm gonna go ahead and coat all of the engine components, intercooler, supercharger body, exhaust, water box, with fluid film. It'll probably take me about a can and a half to get everything done. And um, that'll ensure that our engine and components remain corrosion free. Um, the ski will be subjected to heavy use in salt water. And uh, I'll continue to provide updates on how she fares.